It is a school night, Antoinette. Again, <laughs> everyone had the holiday off. So again, maybe they had some fun. And again, we are trying to keep our quiets down. Although I see a giant rat walking right here. So again, we're in the north end. This is par for the course. And we are excited to see what the Celtics fans have to say, who they potentially want to face. But again, so much excitement. The fact that they were able to get this done. The fact they were able to sweep the Pacers, despite the fact that Indiana was leading in three of those four games. And Jalen Brown, we got to talk about him. He was left off from the All-NBA teams. Instead of that, he gets the Eastern Conference final. MVP. Not enough we can say about another superstar on the seas. Take a listen. I'm feeling really good. This was a scary, was scary in the fourth quarter. But like I said, JB, JT, it's different here. Bring on Dallas. This was personal for me. So a sweep against the Pacers. Pinch me. I am dreaming. <laughs> it's your Kyrie. We want Kyrie. We want Kyrie. And that is certainly the storyline I'm potentially looking forward to. The return of Kyrie Irving back here to Boston. I imagine every time he touches the ball, he'll be getting booed. And it certainly appears like Dallas will be the opponent for the Seas, given the fact they're up three games to nothing. But again, that's what some of the fans had to say last night. I'm looking forward to what potentially the bleary-eyed fans have to say this morning once we get in here in a little bit. So we'll have much more about that throughout the eye-opener. For now, reporting live in the North End, Matt Reed, WCVB News Center 5.